Exclusive, the Daily Wire publicly negotiated a debate with Candace Owens. It secretly sought and has now obtained a gag order against her. Oh no, what is this? Why can't we have nice things? Daily Wire publicly negotiated a debate with Candace Owens. Got a gag order. So they've gotten a gag order against Candace. Due to a prior restraint order against Owens, the much-anticipated Israel debate with Ben Shapiro appears to be off. After Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire were having meltdowns about Tucker Carlson's appearance over on the Joe Rogan experience and that whole ridiculous stuff that happened, now the Daily Wire is in even more controversy. And at this point, I don't understand how anyone can be a fan of Ben Shapiro or the Daily Wire with all the things that they have been doing. But as you can see on the screen right here and by the title of this video, the Daily Wire is trying to now silence Candace Owens after publicly asking her to debate Ben Shapiro and acting like they were trying to set up that debate. Seems like that was all just a publicity play and trying to get some good faith back from their fans, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into this video here where Benny Johnson is talking about the gag order that was issued to Candace Owens from the Daily Wire and Ben Shapiro. Let's check this out. Good. Yes, please. Let's let that debate happen. Boy, was I ready. We had already popped popcorn at our show. Now, seconds ago, this news broke and it sends the entire thing on, in a tailspin. Exclusive, the Daily Wire publicly negotiated a debate with Candace Owens. It secretly sought and has now obtained a gag order against her. Oh no, what is this? Why can't we have nice things? Daily Wire publicly negotiated a debate with Candace Owens, got a gag order, so they've gotten a gag order against Candace. Due to a prior restraint order against Owens, the much anticipated Israel debate with Ben Shapiro appears to be off. Here we go. Candace Owens publicly uh, invited her former Daily Wire colleague, Ben Shapiro, to debate about Israel and current definition of anti-Semitism. Owens' criticism of the U.S. financial financing of Israel and her criticisms of Israel's war in Gaza that caused her departure from the Daily Wire two weeks earlier. Shapiro and Daily Wire CEO J Jeremy Boring both responded saying that they were going to arrange a debate. And they all agreed. They all agreed. Candace Owens said that these terms are awesome. Let's do it. After Owens objected to the format and timing, uh, boring exchange, several tweets. I just showed you those and they publicly accepted. Candace Owens publicly accepted. Jeremy Boring publicly accepted. And we were going to get what we wanted. Two weeks later, many readers of uh, both Shapiro and Owens. No, I mean, let me know in the comments. Did you guys actually think that was going to happen? Did you actually think that Ben Shapiro was going to sit down with Candace Owens and debate this topic? Because let's be real. Obviously, Candace Owens is correct. Ben Shapiro of the Daily Wire, they claim to be America first. They claim to actually care about our nation. And then when it comes to the Middle East, it's obvious that they don't. It's obvious that they're leaning to one side and that they care about more. They care more about that side, that, that certain country in the Middle East, than they care about the United States. It's very, very obvious. So for someone who claims that he's all about facts and logic and Ben Shapiro, it would be dumb for him to go and debate Candace Owens that has all the facts and all the logic on her side. It's as simple as you claim you're America first and all of your actions say differently. And including firing someone for criticizing that, for saying that we should be America first, that we should care about America more than we care about this random country out in the Middle East. Like you, you fired someone for that. One of your premium talents you fired. So it'd be dumb. You know, Ben Shapiro would, would get made to look like an idiot, even more so than he already has with this Tucker and Joe Rogan stuff. Otis cop and complained that the debate had not happened. On April 24th, Owens addressed those inquiries by explaining that the Daily Wire had yet to propose dates while reiterating her strong desire to debate. But the debate was never going to happen because the Daily Wire, in secret, secret and unbeknownst to its readers, sought a gag order be placed on Owens after she had called for the debates. They did this under the cover of secrecy before a private arbiter uh, that exa at, at exactly the same time they were claiming in public that they wanted a debate and negotiating terms with her. To this date, the Daily Wire has not informed its readers. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Seeking to understand why the much anticipated debate did not happen, sought to obtain a gag order against Owens. Seeking a gag order be imposed on Owens, the Daily Wire accused her of violating a non-disparagement clause for agreement in the company. Too substantive, uh, this accusation, the company specifically cited Owens' initial tweet requesting a debate with Shapiro as proof of disparagement, along with concerns that she voiced that Shapiro appeared to be violating the confidentiality agreement, publicly maligning Owens' views, explained her departure of the company. While the company claimed before the arbiter that it did not object to the principles of a healthy debate, it urged the imposition of a gag order on Owens by claiming the way that she requested the debate constituted disparagement and Shapiro on the site. Now, of course, we have... I mean, I, I don't know. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. 
I don't think anything Candace Owens said when challenging Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring to a debate was disparaging to the company or disparaging to Ben Shapiro at all, but maybe I'm completely wrong. And then also Ben Shapiro went on shows repeatedly. It seemed like he went on a press tour as soon as Candace Owens was fired. I think he was on Piers Morgan. He was on a bunch of different shows. Um, and every single time he was asked the question about, he was on Megyn Kelly as well. Every time he was asked the question about the firing of Candace Owens, he just kept saying, I have nothing to do with the firing of Candace Owens. It's, it's not me. It's, it's you know, upper management, <laughs> as they say. Um, and it had also nothing to do with Israel and all that. It's all just nonsense, dude. Everything that comes out of the guy's mouth is a lie now. He's, a, he's an agent of that certain country in the Middle East. Like, it's very obvious. He only cares about them. And if you're, it's, it's literally like he's, he's Anakin Skywalker now. Like he just turned into Darth Vader. He's like, you either with us or you're against us. And if you're against us, you're getting fired from the company and you're getting gag orders sent to you. And you're also not a critical thinker and you're anti-American. It's, it's crazy. That, that request for you right here. The, this is the debate request. I would like to debate Ben Shapiro on Israel and current definition of anti-Semitism. Can somebody please make that happen? This is the request. So apparently they're saying that that's disparaging. To justify the gag order at one of the company also cited various criticism of the Daily Wire and Shapiro on X and that she ha that she had liked the proceeding took place as part of an exchange, legal threats between the two parties and public agreement to the debate and Israel was uh, solidified. Those threats arose from the fact that various Daily Wire executives and hosts in both public and private were ca castigating Owens as an anti-Semite. On March 22nd, Daily Wire host Andrew Clavin uh, hurled multiple accusations at Owens. It was also, it was a very, very ugly, ugly look. Very ugly. I won't even play the, I won't even play the video. From someone who I, I believe Andrew Clavin is a, is a Christian. And his whole thing was saying that Christ is King is, is, you know, that word. And I'm not going to say that the anti, you know, you know, word I'm not allowed to say. It's crazy how a Christian would say that saying Christ is King is is that thing and also many many other things that he called candace owens in that video and then obviously i mean ben shapiro believes that but we knew that from the jump but jeremy boring i think also claims to be a christian and he he's the ceo of the daily wire so he has a say in this as well in the firing of candace owens and the gag order sent to candace owens so it's it's all just i don't understand to this day if you're someone who's watching this video and you're a fan of the daily, daily wire you're a fan of ben shapiro and you're going to continue to support them please tell me why in the comments i can't understand why you would do that i can't so you know anyway the after the prior restraint hearing sought by the daily wire and shapiro the arbiter sided with them against owens the arbiter agreed with the daily wire that owens call to debate shapiro and her follow-up negotiation of the debate constituted disparagement of the company and shapiro the company argued that any further attempt by owens to debate as well as to suggest the debate would expose the daily wire to real priorities constituted criticism of the site and of Shapiro criticism of the arbiter concluded Owens was barred from expressing under her contract with the company. The arbiter imposed a gag order of prior restraint on Owens. I don't know why he keeps saying arbiter when it's arbitrator. He's making me think of, I know, I know this isn't the only you know time arbiter is used. He's making me think of Halo though. Every time he does that. Uh, along with other things and the order banned Owens from saying or doing anything in the future, which could tarnish or harm the reputation of the daily wire or bench Piro, given that the daily wire had argued that the arbiter agreed that arbiter. Owens offers to debate Shapiro is about Israel and anti-Semitism. They themselves were disparaging the daily wire. Uh, so turns out the debate ain't going to happen. When asked for comment, Owens said, I wish I could comment on this, but I can't, I can either confirm or deny. And Jeremy Boring said, your story is inaccurate to the point of being false, although he did not specify a single inaccuracy, nor did he deny that the Daily Wire had sought. Uh, and you know, just kind of putting the nail in the coffin as well of my possible support of the Daily Wire, which never, <laughs> never really existed. You know, I like certain people. I liked Candace Owens. They didn't agree with her on everything, not even close to it. I like Matt Walsh, uh, but I think that if he actually speaks his mind, he'll get fired very soon as well. But putting the nail in the coffin for me, and I think for a lot of other people as well, thinking about... That whole time when Ben Shapiro was saying, yeah, I'll debate you, Candace. Jeremy Boring was saying, yeah, I'm sure Ben will debate you. No problem. Let's set it up in Nashville, all this other nonsense. This whole time they knew they were going to gag with her, <laughs> Candace Owens. This whole time they knew it was all just fake. It was all like publicity stunt. They're trying to gain back good favor with their fans. They're trying to, you know, they're trying to just, just gain the good favor of anyone that they possibly can out there. Make themselves look like they're not going to back down from these debates. When in all reality, we know that Ben Shapiro would never sit down with Candace Owens because he would once again get, get, me made to, get made out to look like an idiot. Like, there's no doubt about it. 
And if you disagree, please tell me, because I, I think that it would obviously go in Candace Owens' favor. And obtained a gag order. So this is Glenn Greenwald's site. We really like Glenn Greenwald a lot. Uh, is this being covered elsewhere? Yes, it is. Daily Wire obtains gag order against Candace Owens despite Ben Shapiro wanting debate, according to reports by Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Glenn Greenwald. So, ladies and gentlemen, it sounds like this debate is not going to happen. It sounds like uh, the two of them will not be meeting. And it is uh, unfortunate, again, because I really wanted this debate. It's a very important thing to have uh, in the country. You know, many people are obviously, like, very upset about this. Uh, many people are saying that this is double standards. That this is an attack on free speech. Uh, this is, uh, again, making some pretty major, major news. Uh, would Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring engage in back and forth with uh, Candace Owens while secretly trying to silence her? If they hadn't responded to her, then seeking a gag order would have been reasonable, in my opinion, but publicly engaging in the debate negotiations, knowing it was never going to happen, was kabuki theater. Candace Owens has said free speech is a fundamental right. Candace Owens has also encouraged Trump to violate his gag order. Will Candace Owens do the same? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I do know this that the Daily Wire apparently has been disparaging Candace Owens behind the scenes. Candace has said this, that somebody from the Daily Wire is attempting to slander and smear her. And that according to other allegations, members of the Daily Wire, but employees of the Daily Wire were fired for saying Christ is king, which of course is the fundamental core tenet of the Christian faith. Well, I think that was part of it for sure. And I don't think that was the only part of it. I think it was just the fact that Candace Owens isn't all the way for that certain country in the Middle East like everybody else is over there. And neither is Matt Walsh, by the way. If Matt Walsh actually speaks his mind, then he's getting fired too, and there's no question about it. Like there, there's no there's no way he stays there if he speaks his mind. He there's like that that podcast clip that I played in a couple of videos ago where Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring were all talking together, and Matt Walsh tried to mention the fact that he didn't support funding for Israel from the United States. And Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring just changed the subject super quick and, and shut him down because I think they like Matt Walsh. I don't think they want to fire him, but if the, if it comes down to that, they they will 100%. I think he most likely will get fired. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this. Who do you think it was that, that tried to shop a story to Milo Yiannopoulos and the other people about Candace Owens from the Daily Wire? I think it's probably Andrew Clavin or Clavin, however you pronounce his last name. The guy that made the video, you know, the, the one that said Christ is King is anti- you know, that word. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about this whole gag order situation against Candace Owens from Ben Shapiro and the Daily Wire. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and hope to see you guys on the next one.